This summer, our group looked at analyzing the ribosome's role in early evolution. Recent papers have begun looking at the ribosome as a potential missing link or vestige of earlier organisms' genomes. They believe that the ribosome could provide answers to some of the many steps of evolution of cellular life that remain unclear. One paper of interest that we looked at was the ribosome as a missing link in the evolution of life. This paper compares alignments of E. coli tRNA versus rRNA and alignments of E. coli tRNA versus mRNA. They find significantly higher matches in the rRNA comparisons and propose that this larger match percentage suggests rRNA being part of a primordial genome that encoded a self-sufficient intermediary between macromolecules and cellular life. While this would address gaps in our understanding of some of the earlier stages of the evolution of life, this paper is not perfect. The paper makes some bold claims and doesn't fully back them up. Some of the shortcomings of the paper include that it only looks at E. coli and isn't really comprehensive enough to define what makes the significant difference in match to make the bold claims about the ribosome that they do. Taking this paper, we wanted to expand upon the work of the paper and really get a more comprehensive view. So to combat the shortcomings, we are now comparing the results across different organisms by running the same alignments that were run for E. coli. We also wanted to check what parameters of the tRNAs were essential in producing these results. Was it GC content, secondary structure, etc.? So we created a program to produce various random sequences with varying GC content and with the same or different secondary structure of tRNAs to see just what parameters cause this greater match for E. coli tRNA with rRNA than with the match for mRNA. So hopefully by the end of the summer, we will see if the ribosome is truly a missing link in the evolution of life.